family about a relationship, this and that, not only need to give time, space between relationships so they can come to know themselves, but to stay on their face before God, to come to know the Lord. Amen? Because you don't make all the mistakes when you walk in the light. There's no occasion to stumble. Amen? But when you walk in in darkness, you stumble one right behind another. You see what I'm saying? And you don't know what you're stumbling at. Amen? And so because the darkness has blinded you. Amen? So even we have a lack of hearing the Word of God, when the Word of God is spoke over us, we, we, we don't really hear the Word of God when we should be in our Bible, spending time with God. Amen? Praise be to God. I get that at the house. I don't want nobody running to my door every five minutes asking me nothing because I may want to spend some time with the Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, I mean, if y'all are cheering over there doing y'all thing, um, I got to do my thing. Amen. And you, the worst time to bother me is when me and the Lord is in something now. Because I ain't no telling you, you think I talk hard. Man, I'd like to turn around and call you a devil, say anything else. Get you behind my mind. Amen. I mean, kind of aggravate me, kind of rub me the wrong way. When I'm, you, you know what I mean? Some of these women, you walk on some of these women and they lay it up in the hand of their man and you keep running around and asking all the questions. You've been a guy, you hit upside the head real hard and you come bothering me and I'm with the law. And, hello, somebody. Amen. And I'm, I'm getting fed and getting nurtured and getting pampered by the law. And there you, you done came. Amen. Don't want to see me. I'm looking at you as a devil. Why else could you show up, huh? Why is you knocking on my door? Time he start talking to me. Hello, somebody. If I got to, if I got to get out the conversation with him, and probably won't get back to the same level. You gonna wear it now? Hello, somebody. You gonna wear it because you under the hello, somebody. Amen. So I thank the Lord. I give God the praise, the glory, and the honor. The word to us this day. You know, the Bible said that the that, the that, that, that poor. Uh, are destroyed because of their poverty. And that's the lack of knowledge that you have toward God. Amen. When you have a certain amount of knowledge, you don't open your Bible enough. You don't, you don't, you don't, the Bible said that, that, that the word of God come down like the rain. Amen. And like the dew. It, it gives seed to the sower and meat to the eater. Amen. If, 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 if the eater, he said meat, if you ever notice that, he said meat to the eater. But he said the same thing in the book of Genesis about the herbs, that the herbs shall be our meat. So in other words, it's a healing thing that God gives us. His word come to heal and to deliver. There's healing in it, there's delivering in his word, amen. But not only that, there are seeds to give to others. See, you not only get healed, but you can start being a doctor for somebody you all on here, man. You, you can start being a doctor to somebody else. You can have a right word in due season to speak to somebody else. Hello, somebody. That word will enrich you. What's in you will come out of you. If you got to look at hello, somebody, if you keep sitting there eating at the table, you go into the bathroom. The Paul said, the day behind me, let him be his dog. Hello, somebody. You go into the bathroom. Hello, somebody. But the things of God that you eat, they're going to come out of you as a well of living water. Hello, somebody. I'm just saying, amen. So when you fill up with that word, amen, you got to back your take up sometimes. You got to fill your take up. You can't rely on just the preacher. Amen. You, you get a jump start. When you get home, you got to run that car for a minute. Hello, somebody. To charge that battery up. You got to get charged up. Jesus told the blind man to go watch in the pool of Siloam. And had you looked up that word, it would have been the word sin. You got to, there are those that are sin of God. Uh, Mark, Matthew, all these people, John, Paul, and you ought to spend some time with them washing your eyes up, washing you so that you could come out seeing because you were born blind. In other words, you were born in seeing. Hello, somebody. And that seeing, that darkness that you were born in has blinded you, that you cannot see. Amen. And you swear you see. You even swear that the sun is the light of this world because that's the only light you've ever seen. Hello, somebody. But what about the light of God coming into your life? Amen. What about that light lighting your, your darkness? Amen. To the point where you can see. I'm trying to tell you, if you just seek the thing that's above and 
and not the things that's here on this earth. Hello, somebody. You got the greater is he that's within me than he that's in this world. Amen. God put greatness in you to bring greatness out of you. Amen. At what point do you plant a seed? And, and, and you plant a seed and you water that seed. At what point don't God get an increase to that seed to bring forth food? Hello, somebody. Amen. So if God put greatness in you, what's hindering your greatness from coming up? Is it, is it the fact that since God put greatness in you, you have taken yourself and planted yourself in a barrel of weeds? Have you have, have you got around unproductive people? Have you gotten in unproductive relationship? What what is hello somebody? Amen. Are you trying to be like Sam Wafa? Here, dad, everywhere, hello, somebody, amen. Uh, are you stationary in the Lord, amen? Are you thankful for what God has done for you, what God has brought you from? Are you satisfied with what God has given you? You can't be sanctified unless you're satisfied now. And if you ain't satisfied, you're still unsanctified because you're still running around. Beep, bop, boop. Hello, somebody, amen. But you got to, you got to get, you got to get to the point. Do you know if you in darkness, you can't even bring your offer, you can bring your offer, but you cannot. When you bring your offering to the altar, the Bible says if you got all the issue, your brother, leave your gift and go and get reconciled with your brother. Don't come before God with that darkness. Don't come before God with that hatred. Don't come before God with rocks in your jaw. Do not sit up in God's house and the word of God will feed you to the point where you got rocks in your jaw because you got problem with God. Hello, somebody. Amen. Hello, somebody. And God, hello, somebody. God will whoop you as long as you can take it. Amen. And some. Hello, somebody. And just because you said, well, well stop. Well, I'm straight now. Don't mean God is tired of whooping you. Hello, somebody. Amen. So, 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 the, point, the whole point to the matter is, if you got light in you, if you got love in you, if you don't have it in you, right now is acceptable time. Eh? Yeah, but I've been in the church 20 years. They've been, some people been in the church 50 years. In fact, some people been preaching for 50 years and finally get the Holy Ghost or finally get saved. Amen? So praise be to God. Don't let arrogance and pride and all these things stop you from the deliverance process. Amen? Stop you from being delivered because, amen, you have to have what they call the fear of God within yourself. Hello, somebody. And if you got God in you, you ought to know God is alive and well. Hello, somebody. Amen. And, and, and there's no occasion of stubbornness when you got light in you. Amen. Because the light of God will direct your footsteps. Amen. Praise be. I thank the Lord. I give God the praise, the glory, and honor. I'm on my way up. Amen. The body of Christ is on his way up. God is doing great things. God has come the world. But arise and shine because light has come upon you. But amen. That, look here. If you're going to buy, if you're going to fellowship it with the Lord, you have to have light in you. Because in him there's no darkness. Amen. And if you in darkness, you're not in him. Because in him there's no darkness. You cannot be in Christ living in that darkness. Hello, somebody. Christ has already placed you outside of him living in that darkness. Amen. Hello, somebody. He might be in you, but you show sure in him. Hello, somebody. Because if you in him, that darkness doesn't exist. Do you not understand what he said? In him is no darkness. Hello, somebody. Amen. So you, in other words, Knowing these things, you have to purify yourself. Hello, somebody. Amen. You have to purify yourself. You have to be purged. You have to walk in the light of the living and not in all that darkness. Hello, somebody. Amen. You have to come to the place in your life where you, where you, I need some time alone. I need some time to get into God. Amen. I need to, hello, somebody. If your attitude, if you got an attitude about things that are said around you to you, God really can't use you. Hello, somebody. Amen. Because you're too easily offended, amen? And, 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 and what, how can I use you if, if I want you to go do something with this person, that person? And let, look at If you will go tell this young lady something, this young lady something, this young lady something, or this young man, whatever, amen? Whichever way it go, and the devil know what's in you. Jesus said he don't need no man to testify of him because he knew what was in man. Hello, somebody. Why would I get you to testify to somebody for me 
and I know what's in you. Hello, somebody. Amen. I thank the Lord because look here. Here you is. You all fired up. I'm going to go over there and testify to Sister Will. I'm going to go over there and testify to them that. And here goes Satan. He meets you halfway down the road with some news. Any little thing to wire you up. Now you got an attitude. All right, right, right. God can't use you. Your attitude ain't right. You ain't right on the inside. There's an occasion of stumbling in you. And how you gonna stop her from stumbling and you still stumbling? You know somebody, huh? How you gonna take the beam out, the mode out of there, that little mode out of there, and you got this giant attitude beam in your eye? Hello, somebody. Amen. And, and you, you know, because when, when truth comes forth, truth don't, they say the truth don't hurt. Truth don't hurt nobody. Any time the truth hurts you, is you living a lie. Hello, somebody. That's exactly when the truth hurts you. The truth will eat you up. The truth will have you mad enough to kill somebody. The truth will have you so, what, can't kill him. Huh? You start walking around them demons, look at that they, they little demon be cast out don't mean they don't try to come back home, huh? You be running around mad with the man of God and everybody else, huh? You know, I want to kill who's good, who, you know. Hello, somebody. Amen. But now, the Bible said when the enemy come in with a flood, God will lift up a standard. Hello, somebody. Don't let God lift up a standard against you. Hello, somebody, hey, amen. You and that enemy have sided up together, y'all going to do this and do that, that. Do you not understand the word of God? Do you not understand I'm a servant of God? Uh, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you ever study your Bible? Do you ever study? I'm just talking about study. Hmm? Know ye not that he said there's no weapon form against me? And every, huh? Every tongue that rises up against me, did I share what? Do you understand what the word condemn means? Do you know the definition of the word condemn? Hello, somebody. Hey, Amen. Nah, 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 nah. If you come with all that mess, you got to say, see, it, when you get rocks in your jaws, you always come with an attitude, but I condemn that mess. I condemn it there. Hello, somebody. Hey, Amen. I ain't the right person to, for you to get an attitude with. Hello, somebody. Hey, Amen. Uh, I, I expect I expect more out of people around me. Hey, Amen. I expect more out of people around me because I'm a man of God. And anything I tell you or rebuke you, it's out of love. And if you got any love in you, you 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 take the love that I share with you and try to grow. But if you come with that crazy behind mess, I will condemn you in that tongue. Know you not that Paul delivered one in, in the hands of Satan? You not know God created the devil and gave the apostles power over the works of the devil? Hello, somebody. He's an instrument in God's hand. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. See, see when the coach condemn you to death, they can condemn you to hell. They can condemn that tongue of yours. I mean, y'all really, y'all really just start looking up some of them words. Amen. So you'll know what, exactly what God said. Amen. And he said, uh, this is the heritage of my servant. Amen. And you have to make sure you're a servant of God. You have to make sure just because you go to church and you declare yourself as a servant of God. Hello, somebody. Amen. See, you have to understand. See, see a lot of people will tell you, well, I'm this and I'm that, and I go to the down. They are chosen vessels that were sent by God, and they are called vessels. Amen. Now, if you got any sense in you, 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 when you read out of the book of, 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 of the Old Testament, when Moses died, that God himself told Joshua, he said, Moses, my servant is dead. And you Moses minister. You ain't none of my minister. You Moses minister. Amen. Because Mo, you come in through Moses. Amen. Moses came in through me because I met Moses at the moment at, at, at the bush. Amen. 
and you came in through Moses, amen? So don't you try to jump, start call that decent in order, that's protocol in the law, amen? It, it don't go in, it don't go your way, amen? It go the way of the Lord, amen? Uh, he said, well, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion, amen? And God is a just God, so don't come with that. And see, in the last day, the Bible said, and, and, and the Bible said that uh, there's a famine that'll come on, on the world of uh, hearing the word of God. You might not hear the word of God, and you might make up in your own mind, well, God is here one. He, uh, he must be a just. Don't go there. Don't let that devil hear you that kind of dog this time. Amen. Whatever God do is all right. On the earth of the Lord, the foot is there. Whatever God do is all right. Amen. You just try to get right. You get that sin out between you and God, everything will be all right for you. Amen. I'm, I mean, I'm just telling you, amen, because you had an opportunity to hear God and be blessed. The blessing of God is overtaking this place. The blessing of God is overtaking the body of Christ. Darkness is upon the face of the earth. There's going to be great blessings in God's house. The people of God are going to soar to great hype, amen? But the people of this world are not going to be in, in, in the same, amen? And they're going to be the haters of those that are good. So if you ain't able to take the heat, don't come in the kitchen. Hello, somebody. If, if, if you driving around in a nice car and they ain't, and they talking about you think you better than them, and they got you going around and a gift trip demon got you, you want to give your blessing back to God because God, I don't want to be better than nobody else. I don't want the devil is alive. Hello, and my name is Apostle to be like at Pastor Resurrection Temple House of Prayer. I want to break into our service just to give you an opportunity to get your life right with God. The Bible says, if you will confess out of your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I'd like to give you an opportunity right now to join me in prayer. And if you'll pray this prayer from the depths of your heart, sincerely, believing and trusting in the Lord, I know everything will work out for you. Let us pray this prayer. Let us say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, I confess out of my own mouth for my own free will that I'm a sinner. And I ask you, Holy Father, to have mercy upon me. Forgive me a sinner. Father, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that he was crucified, dead and buried for the forgiveness of my sin. I believe that on the third day God raised him from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sat on the right-hand side of God the Father, and from this he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart and live. Come into my life and live. Lord, come into my home and live. Lord, I know by praying this prayer, by trusting and believing in you, they're going to talk about me. They talked about you. But even so, Lord Jesus, come. In the name of Jesus, let it so be. Amen.